Hello, this is Godly from Tolerated Cinematics, and I know it's been a really long time since I've made a decent tutorial, so um, what I'm going to show you today is uh, how to create something uh, compared to this, um, something like this, which show the particles over here, because it takes too too much time to explain, to, to show it uh, for something uh, as simple as this, so it's just, um, par I just brushes with a hardness from 100%, with a, a layer style on it, with a gradient overlay, just two two gradients over here, and then a black outer glow, and then just um, lower the opacity a little bit. That's all I've done. So you can do this on your own. Um, I won't show this in this tutorial. What I'm going to show you is how to create something like this, um, really clean and simple, and pretty good looking. So maybe position it over here. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to create um, this uh, right now. So go to File New and then go to um, get a width uh, and a height from the uh, same as your screen resolution I'm sorry I'm a little bit um, distracted now right now okay so um, hit OK and let's get started Gosh, hold shift and press a 5 and use a black background and use the same um, blending option as mine just normal and 100% because uh, a lot of people have been posting comments um, that um, it doesn't always uh, always work and that's the only reason always um, that's always this reason because these settings over here are messed up so hit OK and change the um, layer to background and then just um, create a new layer and then take your brush tool go over here to brush or to window and brush then go over here and reset or uh, clear brush controls and then we're going to brush tip shape and change the size to 9 pixels and the hardness to 100% then go to shape dynamics and change the control to pen pressure that's all you have to do so now we are ready to go with the pen uh, tool so we're going to maybe make it a little bit bigger than that so okay make it 20 okay and then take your pen tool and just create a shape just like this one and do close these down so I can create a nice shape okay just like this and then right click on it stroke path tool brush and simulate pressure okay and okay I've done a mistake make sure your brush color is white so stroke path and do the same thing okay there we go delete the path go to layers and select the layer and go to filter blur Gaussian blur and take something like this then what we're going to do is warp it just a little bit so we're going to press ctrl T and warp it and make it big over here and maybe move it um, over over here a little bit just like that bring it up it should be more up okay and close it down and make it over, small over here something like that and hit enter so now we have something like this a nice shape and then go back to the layers and go to filter and what am I saying image adjustments and hue saturation colorize it and it doesn't work right now because it's white, I'm sorry. Okay, let's do it on a different way. Blending options, color overlay, and just change it to a orange color. Okay, so that's done. I hit OK. And then duplicate this uh, again. Change the shape just a little bit. Maybe a little bit smaller. And again, warp. Make it smaller over here. Wider over here. And just mess around a little bit with the settings, Control T, and then hit horizontal flip, and just like that in the background, and then get it in the background as well, and change it to like 25%, and now we have uh, in the background a nice shape. Duplicate it and do it a few times. You can also create new shapes with the br and with the pen if you want to. It's uh, just a little. It takes a little bit longer, but you will have a better effect. So maybe you could do that. Okay, so we have this over here right now. And then click on the background to create a new layer. So that makes the layer um, above the background layer and rename it to texture. Then we're going to file and place a texture. Um, it doesn't matter what texture, just a texture that um, is like. You can also go outside and take it, uh, take a picture from a, a wall and just grayscale it. And then bring down the opacity to 25. Go to filter blur and motion blur make um, something like this and then hit ok then um, press E on the keyboard and right click on your um, 
on your layer if you have a smart layer and then just rasterize the layer and then just around the edges create a big net something like that and then just um, create above all these layers you can create n no not a new layer so I'm sorry uh, you can add a hue and saturation and then bring it up and this uh, bring it over here and colorize just like this okay and then do it again and add curves now we are going to add some contrast for the good looking part okay just like this and then just the layer styles we're going to change it to linear dodge and linear dodge and linear dodge okay so now that's done and we can also change the color just a little bit more or change uh, add a blending option and other glow maybe change to yellow or like this normal bring it up inner glow maybe also and change it to yellow okay and copy it paste it over here and paste it over here and oh change it back to 100 okay so now we have something like this more then duplicate it again and then just delete this layer styles uh, clear layer style okay so we have this right now you can spin it maybe it's up to you so now we have this and then just hold it and get it on the bottom on the bottom of this page maybe and then duplicate uh, merge all the layers and duplicate them with a, a control J and then just rotate it maybe it over here, make it bigger, and then just bring the opacity down. Do something with it, whatever you want to, maybe smaller. And duplicate again, and then add a warp to it. Just mess around, keep doing this a few times, it will get a nice result. Uh, I didn't do anything. Okay, change it more. Okay, now I did something. Okay, there we go. So now we have this. Then create a new layer above these and change the color to black. Take your brush tool, right click, make it big, and the hardness to 1 and 0%. Okay, make it like this. And then just create something like that. Hold Ctrl and press T and just make it smaller a bit larger then go to um, the layer style and change it to divide that makes it white and bright and stuff like that so you can use it to enter a text in that so maybe also control J and warp it a little bit to, to fit the, the particles over here and uh, what am I saying the lines over here something like that should be fine okay there we go and then just add the text over here, change it to uh, orange, and then just make it small and get it over here. Then, um, what do we have next? The lines over here to create some um, non-feathering lines. Uh, it's the same. And uh, the same as in the beginning, just right now you're going to use a smaller uh, brush. So go to brush again, hardness 100, size 9, 8, 9, let's say 9. And then with the pen tool we're going to draw shapes. And then right click stroke path, hit OK. Use a white color, stroke path, OK. And then delete the path. Create a new path. Stroke it again. And hit OK. And again, do the same thing, but maybe make it smaller again to have some uh, variety in uh, in it. And then, right now you can make it delete the path first. You can do something like that. Stroke the path again. Okay, and the leading path. So now we have something like that, and then we're going back to the layers, 
and get this on the bottom of uh, all the other stuff and change maybe rotate it a little bit just like this then right click blending options and gradient overlay and as you can see it's already looking pretty good just change the white color to a nice uh, orange color and hit ok maybe add another glow if you want to it's all up to you uh, what you can do you can do a lot of stuff with it and just hit ok and then what we can do next um, for the last uh, thing you can do in there um, well first of all I'm going to merge all these layers because I don't need all of them and I'm going to feather it out a little bit on the edge okay this looks much better also the text should be oh over here okay so um, maybe right over here I can change just this over here I don't like it so much well it doesn't really matter uh, so create a new layer above these layers and hold the pen um, click on the pen tool um, or the Fortnite brush tool sorry and go to the options over here for the brush and go to brush um, um, brush tip size and just spacing bring this like this um, a little bit up and then just run jitter and um, I mean shattering sorry shattering come bring it up shatter it just like this okay and maybe you can change also pen pressure pen pressure and run jitter okay so now take the pen tool and create something more like this right now and then right click stroke path and hit ok and then delete it and as you can see maybe let's take something bigger from brush size let's take 15 stroke path and brush okay now delete it close this and maybe it's smaller duplicate it and go to filter blur gaussian blur bring this way down okay so as you can see you can create really cool things in photoshop um, so if you're a beginner keep messing around with this because this made my my photoshop career a little bit I love it uh, using these uh, these particles you can create cool things with it or you can delete these just a little bit and over here maybe also delete these Okay, so there we go. Um, so then we're done. So you have something like this. Yeah, it doesn't really resemble at this, but um, it's also pretty cool. You can create a lot of cool things with it. You have to mess around um, on your own style. Um, just keep going, and good luck. So bye. Take care.